Hello fellow Star Wars fans, welcome to my first comic book review. So today I'll be covering a Marvel comic series that came out this year on January 1st. There has only been 5 issues published this year because of, well, you know why. However, it looks like the series is back on track to release every month in the middle of the month, so that's good news to me and to other fans. I came across the series when I was browsing at my local comic book store last month, and I have to say, I was blown away by the artwork by Stephen McNiven, R.B. Silva, and Jesus Saez. And I bought the book right then and there. I'll try to post a review of my favorite comics so far this year that are Star Wars related, at least twice a week, work and life permitting of course. I'll even hide the digital copy of the book somewhere hidden in the video, so be searching for that code to get a free downloadable copy. Links in the description on how to redeem. Okay, let's get into issue number one, titled The Destiny's Path, part one. The events pick up basically at the ending of the fifth movie, The Empire Strikes Back. The Rebel Alliance has been scattered across the galaxy following the defeat at Hoth. Han Solo is encased in carbonite. Luke Skywalker's hand was dismembered. And Lando Calrissian joins the Rebellion. The opening pages are quite familiar, with very safe dialogue, meaning something we would have heard in the original trilogy. Basically just setting up the background of the series and giving it a safe jumping off point. The crew made up of Leia, Luke, Chewbacca, Lando, and the droids just left Cloud City and they are deciding on whether or not to track down Han or rendezvous with the Rebellion. After a few scenes on who is now the captain of the Millennium Falcon, Leia assumes command and sets the course to link up with Mon Mothma and the Rebellion. But little did they know the Rebel fleet is engaged in the mid-rim at Rendivius Point against the Empire. This is where the comic begins to stand on its own and start some original storytelling. I wanted to include this entire page here just to show the level of detail put into this opening series. Here we have some Nebula and B escort frigates, X-Wings, and A-Wings all engaged in the Empire fleet. The battle rages on for a few more pages and then it seems like the Rebel fleet is on its last legs. But then the Millennium Falcon appears out of hyperspace to save the day. Fighting ensues, and this is where I begin to see Luke's personal struggles, or emotions rather, begin to surface. He begins to focus on the trauma of what happened on Cloud City, and the revelation of Vader being his father. Our hero eventually finds the strength to fight off the impending Imperial attack through the Force. However, it seems to me that this was done through anger rather than through a clear mind. The artwork shows one thing, but the text at the end tells another. It's kind of up to your interpretation. Tell me what you think down in the comments. The crew of the Millennium Falcon and the Rebel Fleet rout the remaining Imperial forces, and this is where the comic ends, with the swift victory of the Rebellion, but at what cost? Did Luke's use of the Force and anger bring him closer to the dark side? Guess we will have to see in the next installment. Thank you all so much for watching my first review. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comment section on how I could improve these videos as your input would be greatly appreciated as I start this new series. Again, thanks for watching and peace.